What is up guys, Sarb Musa back again, also known as the Black Gentleman, and today I'm bringing you a boxing opening video. I was going to go YouTube live with this, but uh, apparently things have changed with uh, using, you know, like uh, mobile devices and going live, unless you're using a webcam, or unless you're like a thousand subscribers, I don't know, some, some kind of whole new rule on this thing. Anyhow, it's not live, as you can see, but it's fine. I'm still going to do this little boxing opening. And I got this box from the UPS. Those who know me know I have had a um, little problem with getting certain boxes here lately. Especially one in particular. So now I got this whole new thing where I just sign for boxes now. So I basically hung around home all day long to get this box. And uh, uh, who gives a shit? You guys don't want to hear all that. You guys want to open this box. So um, follow me on my journey. Let's take this in here knife right here. And cut it along the flaps like a fish, you know. If I can get in here. Ah. Man, you guys really aren't seeing anything, but trust me. A box, a box opening is happening. I have my word. Turn it this way. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering what's in this box, after I got Double Evil from Fans Hobby, uh, it dawned on me. No, you can't just have a double evil and not have anybody for him to fight against. So, uh, I made my mind up to get that version of, uh, Dingrai. Or, you know, Prime Monster Prime if you're more inclined for the comic book guys. But, uh, I, here we go. Uh, crap. You guys are probably thinking this is like the worst box opening ever. <laughs> yep, here he is. Uh, MB06 Power Baser. Let me just back the camera up a little bit so you guys see. Uh, it's see, it's all covered in bubble wrap. That's one. That's one we expect. Now I'm gonna get the, get the knife back in here and just liberate it from all this tape and whatnot. It's kind of fun. I haven't done a box opening in. Wow, I think last time I did a box opening was for, uh, I think it was Death Source from Planet X. Normally I save my bubble wrap, but eh, I don't care. I got so much of it stored up. Be all right. Ah, uh, it's nice. This is actually my first uh, brand new um, fans hobby figure. The first one was double evil, but I bought it actually second hand. Normally I would edit all this out, but I'm trying to make this a very, very, very authentic box opening. All right, bubble wrap off. Let me get this angle better. So yeah, this is this, this is him. This looks nice. If you can get more plastic on it though. Let's see here. The rest of it off. I know everybody else is uh, really you know digging on uh, MP44. And you know, I'm the one guy here, basically stuck back in time, looking at a, Gen a Genra figure. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, hey, that's me. And uh, I follow Beat of Mountain Tune. And this is uh, from what I read before I bought it. This is actually uh, version two, which says here's in the box. Version two has, uh, I believe, he has the red eyes, which are uh, more anime accurate. And he has, um, what else does it have? I think chrome, chrome on the legs and chrome bumper. And also the bumper can be, uh, can be adjusted, which is different. And I think it has, a uh, postable hands. I think the postable hands were originally a upgrade for this, for this, uh, set. But instead, since this is version two, you get them, um, get the post more postable hand standard, which is pretty cool. Because Double Evil also had, uh, postable hands. So, here's all that. That looks really, really good. I'm actually been really excited. I even, uh, I was anticipating him coming today. And, uh, I actually went back and transformed, uh, Double Evil into his alt modes. Just so I could do, uh, you know, a proper, proper comparison when I do the review for this thing. Which, are, which should probably be done probably to begin. You know, I'm taking some time with this figure. You know, just really, you know, play with it a little bit. 
get this transformation. You know, from what I've seen, the transformation in the kind of double evil seems pretty simple. Oh, nice. Style. Let's see the name box. Yep, that's it. And here he is, all in his packaging. Looking very sweet. And the tail thing got a little weight to it. Turn it that way. Here's the instructions. Which I'll you know, definitely go more in the review. Let's go ahead and free it. Free it from its prison. Turn that way, maybe a little easier. Uh, of course, if I'm on camera, I wants to fight. There we go. And I can't see this here. Alright, here's a trailer. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and grab that first. And it feels pretty good. It's got some nice. Oh, up, uh, up, up. It's a hidden head syndrome. Head just sitting on the bottom. <laughs> But then again, I, I know this is not really a parts. This isn't really a parts one. I think the original Power Master Prime, the one I had when I was a kid, I got for a birthday present. Uh, it kind of just parts the head, just kind of parts form the the big head, and you kind of just threw it in the back of the trailer best you could, if I remember right. So in, a, in, a, in some way, this figure actually holds some actually holds a some similar value because uh, I never had a uh, original Optimus Prime when I was a kid. Um, I, I got the when I got the Transformers, the G1 Prime had already was already said and done. You couldn't find those. But my first Prime was actually a Power Master Prime, so that was always my my standing form. I know nowadays you can get the, you can get the re-release of Optimus Prime, but back then the re-releases weren't really heard of. So Power Master Prime was always my Prime. So yeah, here's a Genrise trailer. Let's pull the main body out. Hey, this feels pretty good too. Got some good weight to it. Pull the cellophane off. Man, that bumper looks nice. Let's see what it feels like. Yes, yeah, some good chrome paint on there. I don't believe it's die cast, but it's just about uh, painting chrome. The wheels feel good too. Let's see, kind of a rubber feel. But I think it's more like mm, silicone rubber. It feels good. And put it to the side. And here is uh, there we go. See we got again Rye here in a little baggie. I know in America uh <clears throat> he was uh I think his name was High Q for Promise Pro. But in Japan he's uh he's just Gen Rye. But it's really kind of cool because you know you would you think the truck you think, you think the trans tester's name is you know Gen Rye, but actually it's the it's the driver himself. Right here he is. And Here's just two giant blasters. Let me get those out later. And, uh, let's see. Hmm, am I missing something here? Oh, there we go. I was wondering, I thought I was missing one of his blasters, but here they are. Well, here's one right here. And the other one's right here. So, yeah, uh, this was my, uh, box opening. Let's see if I can get the trailer out here. And just sit right there, I believe. And there we go. So yeah, this is my box opening for uh, Power Baser for Fans Hobby. Well, uh, otherwise known as Genrai. So yeah, guys, I uh, had a lot of fun doing it. I haven't done one in a while. I have to do more of these. Really, really fun. So I hope you guys join me when I get the review out. It should be in a few days. So this has been Start on Noomspa. Also known as the Black Gentleman. Out here doing God's work, reviewing these figures, opening these figures. Until next time, peace out. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. I realize I don't say a lot in my videos, but I love it when you guys like, share, and subscribe. I love it when I get the views. I love providing content. And when you guys subscribe and like comment, I really dig it. It shows me that you guys really enjoy what I do. So yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out, guys.